This is a video for those who want to convert text to a L in the very first way possible. So you just Google text to L and then you click on that. This is the first link for my Google. Then this is the procedure. Okay, I believe you have your SQL installed and you have installed Navision. I don't know which version you're using, but depending on the version that you're using, you'll, you'll use different settings, as you will see in a moment. Okay, for SQL, make sure that the DB has been given the permission for uh, the DB owner. And this is the, um, and all the objects that uh, you're using in Navision should be compiled, of course, as the first step. Okay, the first thing you do is, uh, let's just take this command. This is the command that you use to do that work, to convert text to L. Okay, this, is, this, this command is exporting the objects that you have to text first before going um, to L. And why you should use this command and not the normal file export is because of this command, eh? export to new syntax. It gives the objects... Um, the new extension syntax, the L syntax for extensions. And that's why it's important that you use this command. So you'll, I'll, you go to CMD, use the command prompt as admin, of course. So where is the command, this, uh, there's this file, finsql.executable. That's the command that opens your development environment. Yeah, that's, uh, this is the file for your development environment. Let's go to that uh, command. It's uh, that uh, the location of that file. It's located in C, program files 86. Then for me, it's business central 140. And then roll tailored client. When you type F fin SQL, or let's scroll down. This is the file we are targeting. So when we are here, we will get it via the command prompt in the command prompt now we just need to go to that location cd that and then we will have moved to that location and then the first step you should have your folders where the file will be located where the exported file will be located for me um let me create a new folder uh, for the text uh, tables and then and then uh, another folder for l tables because I intend to use tables only so for the text tables okay that's the command for the text tables let me just put it on notepad and I'll get it and then for the l tables the location I mean the location uh, L tables that's the location for the L tables yeah okay now let's copy our command it's good to be accurate with this command this command can mess you up if you you're not accurate with it uh, let me check this example this is better because it's an example that has been used okay you paste it here uh -huh. so the command is export to new syntax now the file file gives you the location of your text where is your text located so we'll say this let me just add my extension from here and say i want my uh, tables.txt this is my text file that i want to use and i'll modify this tables.txt as you can see i have uh, mistakenly pressed on enter and it hasn't thrown any error despite not having these settings um the event viewer will have uh, something to show us because there's an error when you go to this folder it has not exported anything but it has not run with any error that is uh, the other funny thing i noticed with this command it won't give you an error it will just go and you go to the event, event viewer to see just in case you have any problem you have to go to the event viewer 
So I'll open my SQL server so that I can be sure with the database name and data and the server name. So this is the file. Uh, the file gives us the location where we will store our uh, text files, where the exported files are located, and the database is the database that we'll use. My SQL server is open. This is the server name, so I will key in that. But let me get, get the database name. When I said about security, uh, okay, when I said about roles, to avoid a common error that you may face if maybe you did not install your, or the user that you're using is not having the DB owner role in, in SQL Server, go to the security tab, user mapping, click on the DB and make sure this part is marked. Otherwise, the user will not be able to access the database. So the database that I'm using is this, uh, demo bc140 bc140 i want to be extremely accurate with the name because that will mess me up if i am not accurate depending on the name that you have just enter it there and then the server name now we saw it in sql let me just recap for those who did not see if you are not sure about your server name, just click on database connect, get the server name. Copy it and paste it. Mine is an easy one. I'm sangi. Okay. Now the table, the filter for the table. Uh, there is a filter here. Type is table. You can put a report, a code unit, um, a page, depending on what you want to export. And it's advisable that you go step by step. You export tables first, uh, report separately with uh, code units. Or depending on what you want, this filter is for you to uh, play around with. So the, for the filter, me, I need tables from table number one to this table number. I'm avoiding the system tables because they don't need my modification. Okay. I uh, think everything is okay. Let's just review. Fin SQL command export to new syntax. This is the file location. The database is the database that I use, the server name. And then the filter is for the type table, and that is the ID. And they click enter. After doing that, let me go here to the folder, L tables. The folder is empty. Okay, maybe we have something in event viewer. The folder is empty. Server name. Filter type is table. Let me check the event viewer. Why is my folder empty? The window logs. There's a warning here. Oh, this could be the issue. Okay. Oh. Server instance seems my instance has not started okay interesting my instance is off let me go to services.msc to the nav instance i just fired my machine right away microsoft dynamics it started what else can they tell me uh, Okay, let me check. The skills instance is also started. Fire the command again. Boom. So that you can get the latest error logs. <laughs> A significant part of the SQL server process memory has been paged out. This may result in... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Warning. In the details. Okay. There is a warning. Okay, this one is not supposed to prevent us from exporting the object to a L. Is there something to do with my file D L text tables? 
Oh, I'm looking for it in the wrong location. Sorry for that. Eh? The tables are here. They are exported here. So we have found our tables have been exported to D, L, text tables. Here are the tables. It's a text document, as you can see. Okay. So now the last thing that we need to do uh, is to convert the text that we have just exported to L and this is the command that we use uh, run from the command line as admin and do that they are giving us the location program files um, depending on the version that you're using go to that location by the cmd and then run this command i will just copy it and i just need a small chunk of this location here it is the source equal to okay my source is this text tables so the difference between this and the command above is for this command we are using the directory as the source <coughs> so the other command we are using the file uh, with a, an extension of txt but here we are not specifying that extension Big into those details. Those details are Im very important for you to export. And then the destination, for the same thing, you just put that a directory destination. The other thing that is so important, I don't need to specify the type because uh, for me, uh, I've just exported tables. Extension start ID. The default is a number here. The default is 70, uh, 7, <laughs> 70, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this number, this big number here. But you can change it to, let me say, 50,000. I prefer using that. Okay. And there's another uh, another key thing here, known as rename. Rename uh, is not initialized to anything. It's just a command. If Let me remove it so that you can see its impact. And then I will re-add it. And then we generate when you generate that okay so it's writing it's overwriting tables.al <laughs> in al uh l tables you see there's one file as you can see the size is changing meaning it's overwriting the same l file it's creating the same l file and generating it and overwriting it but we don't need to do that eh? We need to create, uh, uh, that's the importance of the rename command. The rename uh, command um, will help us get, sort, we sort that problem out. Okay. And then hyphen hyphen rename will create each object separately with its own different unique name as you can see all the tables are being created with a different unique name when you go to that folder these are the al files that have been generated the new al files that have been generated and that is how you convert text to al